<laughs> I'm at the end of the video and I just can't get through the closing. Like, it's not like this is the first time I've ever done this before, but I just can't, can't close. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Greg for Technically Speaking, and in my last video, you might remember, we talked about the 2016 MacBook Pro, and I mentioned that there was some confusion around USB Type-C versus Thunderbolt 3. So if you wanna understand why this is confusing, check this out. One of these cables is a USB Type-C cable, and the other one is a Thunderbolt 3 cable. Now, they both basically look identical other than the color and the cable length, but they really are different. So this week, we're going to dive into some of the details to figure out what those differences are and why they're so important. So when I say USB, you probably think of this the type A connector, which is about 21 years old at this point. So this specific cable is a USB 2.0 cable with a type A connector on one end and a mini B connector on the other end. Now the different versions of USB just denotes which features and the speeds that are available. And there's kind of an important point that's hidden in that last sentence in that there's a difference between the USB protocol version and the connector. So you can have two cables that are relatively identical looking that support two totally different versions of the USB protocol. So I have a USB 2.0 cable again in my left hand and in my right hand is a USB 3.0 cable. The Type-C connector is replacing the older Type-A connector and features a number of improvements including its much smaller size, it's a reversible connector, it uh, offers power delivery of up to 100 watts, and it supports USB 3.1 and earlier protocols. Now, This is commonly called backwards compatibility which means that you can still use all of your older USB devices as long as you like dongles. Now here's where the confusion really sets in. Thunderbolt 3 is a protocol just like USB and it also uses the Type-C connector. It's also four times faster. It supports HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.2, and get this, fully implements USB 3.1. And because of that, you can also supply up to 100 watts to all of your connected devices if you're using copper cables. So if you're still confused, you can think of Thunderbolt 3 unofficially as a superset of USB 3.1. So Thunderbolt 3 basically does the same thing as USB 3.1, but it has a bunch of extra features and it just happens to use the same cable. Case closed, right? Well, the real devil here is in the cables, which themselves are the source of a whole bunch of problems, which Benson over at Google has really diligently documented. Now his Google Plus page has some extreme level of detail, uh, but the short version here is that if you need a Thunderbolt 3 cable, buy a Thunderbolt 3 cable. If you need USB type C, just make sure that you do your research and that you buy from a reputable brand, because if you don't do that, there's the possibility that you might buy a cable that ends up permanently damaging your device. Either way, research the features you need and keep your receipts because the cables right now are a bit of a hot mess. So that's it for this week. If you like what we're doing and would like to see more, please help us out by liking this video, subscribe to our channel, and if you get a second, uh, share it on social media. You can also find Scott and I, we do a live show every Friday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, and you can listen to our podcast at thetechspeaks.podbean.com. Thank you all so much for watching. You are all amazing human beings, and I will catch you guys next time.